All of Tampa Bay's beaches feature white sand and crystal clear turquoise tinted waters. The climate in this region of Florida is famous for being mild and warm year round. With over 240 sunny days a year on average, the weather shouldn't give you any trouble. Tampa is famous for theme parks, top-notch accommodations, and a thriving food scene, but that's just all the icing on the cake, as the beaches in and around Tampa are nothing short of world class. Just a short drive from the city center, you'll find spots like St. Pete's Beach, Clearwater Beach, Indian Rocks, and Fort DeSoto Park. If you're planning a sun-drenched vacation with your family or significant other, this is a video you don't want to miss. Vucation presents the best beaches in Tampa Bay, Florida. Fort DeSoto Park If you're searching for a couple of beaches with lots of space to stretch your legs and relatively few other people to deal with, then head on over to Fort DeSoto Park. This spot is about 40 minutes from downtown Tampa, and the beaches are amazing not only for their historical context, with the namesake fort dating back to the turn of the 1800s, but they're also downright breathtaking. Additionally, the park has two fantastic fishing piers that offer views of the Bob Graham Sunshine Skyway Bridge and Anna Maria Island. Fort DeSoto Park is perfect for families, as it features clean and plentiful facilities, making beach barbecues an easy task. There are also numerous covered picnic shelters that provide visitors with a bit of relief from the hot Florida sun. Each of these shelters comes with grills and picnic tables. Not far from each, you'll find large green spaces perfect for a rousing game of soccer, flag football, or cornhole. The two beaches at the park are North Beach and East Beach. The former faces the Gulf of Mexico and is a little bit less accessible. To get there, you'll need to trek out quite a bit, but once there, your efforts will be rewarded as it features warm crystalline waters and miles of sand to explore. East Beach is a bit more traditional, and it faces the Tampa Bay. This is the beach most visitors tend to flock to, but it's hardly ever crowded. Most of the time, it's calm and serene, but the winds do occasionally pick up quite a bit, so it's best to check the weather before venturing out. Anna Maria Island about an hour drive south on Interstate 75, you'll find the delightfully peaceful beaches of Anna Maria Island. Since you have a few options to choose from, it might be difficult to decide which beach to choose, but trust us when we say any of them are worth your time. Anna Maria Island is a quirky and fun place famous for its seven beaches. Each one is a bit different, ensuring guests from all walks of life and interests will find what they're looking for. The most popular beach on the island is Coquina Beach. The beach is backed by a towering band of Australian pine trees and features a ton of shade. There are great facilities at this beach as well. The water is always warm and reasonably shallow. There are also picnic tables, shelters, and barbecue grills just steps away from the sand. On Saturday and Wednesdays, towards the back of the beach, you'll find a market that operates under the shade of the pines. Vendors sell everything from fresh produce to prepared foods and fashionable beach accessories. Clearwater Beach Due east of Tampa is Clearwater Beach. While it's one of the busier beaches in the region, Clearwater still has a lot going for it. There's a three-mile stretch of white sand typically loaded with beachgoers on any given warm, sunny day. The waters are warm, shallow, and perfectly clear, making this spot ideal for those who want to wade out a bit, engage in a game of water polo, or just splash around with the little ones. Be sure to bring your towel, sunscreen, umbrella, and maybe a good book, as this is one of the best beaches in the area to lounge out by the water's edge. The parking lot is a short walk from the water, and you can rent beach chairs and other gear from local vendors if you forget your own. Keep in mind, however, parking is fairly expensive. Recent visitors have reported shelling out $30 to get a spot for the day. Beyond that, since the beach is usually quite crowded, finding a spot close to the beach can be tricky if you arrive later in the day. Sand Key Park Clearwater admittedly can be a bit overwhelming for those looking for a more laid-back vibe. If you find it a bit too crowded for your tastes, Sand Key might be the best alternative. This quiet, low-key beach is hardly ever crowded and can be found about 500 yards south of the main Clearwater Beach. Sand Key is known for its wide-open spaces, accommodating lifeguards, and that signature soft, powdery sand that Florida's Gulf beaches are noted for. Parking, unlike Clearwater, isn't a hassle. It's cheap, about $5 a day, and there are usually tons of spots. Sand Key is especially popular with beach walkers. If you head south, you can make your way to John's Pass. That trek is about 15 miles, but if you have time, it's pretty amazing. Bring your camera and prepare to see a large number of birds and other wildlife. 
You'll also find a small concession stand where chair and umbrella rentals are available. You can also purchase cold drinks and snacks. Honeymoon Island State Park There's nothing more pleasing than spending a long, romantic day at the beach with your partner. And what better place to do this than a location called Honeymoon Beach? This small yet feature-rich offshore island is home to one of the best beaches in the Tampa Bay area and it's well worth the trip. Once you get there, miles of beaches will await you. Back in the day, Honeymoon Island was slated to become a resort community. There were plans to build a bunch of houses, hotels, restaurants, and the like, but local opposition halted the idea. Today, it's preserved as a state park. The best beach on the island is North Beach. It can be reached by following the main road almost to its end. Once you get there, you might find yourself tempted to drive in and park at the first lot you see, but continue onwards. You'll be glad. North Beach extends uninterrupted to the tip of the island. It's at the very end that you'll find the best beach experience. Soft, supple white sand and warm blue water awaits. Once you step into the water, you'll find it hard to leave its tender embrace. Then you can sit on a beach towel and soak up the sun. Indian Rocks Beach One of our favorite beaches near Tampa is one that usually doesn't get a lot of attention. While Indian Rocks Beach typically flies below the radar, it's one of the funkiest and funnest beaches around. Just ask any local where they prefer to soak up the sun and they'll likely name this one. This beach features miles of soft white sand, clear water, and incredible views of the Gulf. There are plentiful beach access walkways, ample parking, and several other amenities that'll make your stay much more enjoyable. In the surrounding area, you'll discover dozens of restaurants and shops within walking distance. Some of the best seafood in town can be found at Guppy's. For dessert, consider grabbing a scoop of handcrafted ice cream at IRB Creamery. And at sunset, it's never a bad idea to enjoy a fruity cocktail or craft beer at Hurricane Eddie's Patio Bar. St. Pete Beach St. Pete has long been a favorite beach destination for both local and out-of-town visitors. While it's certainly one of the most popular and crowded beaches, it's still one of the best. Since luxury hotels and resorts first popped up there in the 1920s, people have been coming out in droves to sink their feet into the white sands of this exquisite beach. Parking is plentiful, although a little pricier. Beach access is easy, and there are plenty of amenities to ensure your family's visit is lacking in nothing. Chair and umbrella rentals are available, and there are a number of other vendors that offer snacks, drinks, and sunscreen. In the surrounding area, you'll find the collection of restaurants, bars, and shops, many of which feature outdoor patios. If you have some free time and are up for a bit of cardio, taking a short jog down the beach will lead you to an impressive pink building called the Don Cesar Hotel. This enormous structure dates back to 1928 and is famed for being one of the best beachside resort hotels in St. Petersburg. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to any of these Tampa beaches? Let us know in the comments section below.